Oh, I love it. Um, my, really, my favorite time to work is from about 11 o'clock at night till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. It's quiet. Yep, I don't have the phone ringing. I don't have to answer emails. <laughs> In 2005, uh, right before I got out of the service, I, um, it was January, everything was, we had an ice storm, come out of the barracks with all my gear and went down a flight of concrete stairs. And I tore my SI joint, tore my meniscus, I have six herniated discs. And um, I knew, I originally wanted to get into law enforcement, but I can't sit for very long and I can't stand for very long. So it's, um, this was my, I can make my own time, make my own hours. When I need to sit, I can sit. When I need to stand, I can stand. If I need to lay down, I can lay down. The hardest part, it isn't the PTSD, it's the constant pain because when I went into, they tried everything, they tried injections, they tried, uh, they burned out the nerve clusters in my lower back. They, I, you know, and I said, I just want to fix surgery, whatever it takes. And uh, as far as the meniscus, they said, you're too old. They said, you won't heal. They said, we'd be better off just going in there every six months, opening it up and cleaning it out. So I still haven't had it cleaned out. <laughs> um, believe it or not, it was right when the economy tanked, so it wasn't uh, saddles per se because nobody wanted to pay you know 5,000 for a custom saddle in 2008 um, so it started off um, buying books and uh, most of it was holsters and belts knife sheaths and wallets um, the lower dollar stuff but um, I just started reading picking up knowledge figuring out how to draw all of my own patterns and then the business itself um, I stuck about 85 to 90 cents of every dollar into new tools and new patterns. And I just kept um, upgrading my tools and upgrading everything that I possibly could. I'll spend hours going through photos of different leather items. And I'll, I'll save pictures, save pictures, save pictures, and I have folders and folders of pictures. One of these days I'm going to make that. One of these days. And that's what I did with the next VA competition. I saw a set of pummel bags that went at a high-end leather auction. And I looked at them and I said, those are some of the neatest pummel bags I've seen. One of these days I'm going to make those. And I, I figured this next competition would be a good time. They're actually pommel bags. They go over the front of the saddle, over the saddle horn on the front instead of the back. Um, it's got the inside flap. It's actually a bag. And this side actually has a holster on the flap. There's still a big, big need for the Old West stuff. And um, went to a show I don't know, about six, seven years ago, and I actually ran into um, one of the people I admired as far as gun leather, and he builds gun leather for Hollywood. Um, and as a matter of fact, he gave me that, he sent me that poster. Um, and uh, I keep in contact with him every few weeks or so, and I'll be bounce ideas back and forth, and I'm still trying to get my my name in the movies. I'm like, if you ever need help, you know, just send the stuff my way. I'll do it for free. 